Right guys, welcome back to another episode of Bose Guns Rods and Reels. Today is such a special day. I'm at the beautiful dam. Birds flying around. But today's not about the birds. We're gonna try and catch hippos. So today I'm gonna show you how to catch a hippo. Um, We've got a beautiful boma that was built by Tini Bamberger. Uh, beautiful design. So um, let me let me show you guys how it's going to work. As you can see, let me give a bit of a zoom. The hippos are close by. Let's see if we can see them. There are some of them in the water. So, yeah, we're going to try and lock them. We've got some, some feed that we will be putting out in this boma, as you can see. Here is the boma. Beautiful. It's three meters high. It's got a sliding door. For when we catch them, we'll be building a, a loading ramp going towards the trucks. As we are still busy, as you can see, there are some panels. Then we've got a feeding trough inside. We're going to put some feed out for them. And then, um, yeah, hopefully, hopefully we get some, some hippos. This will be the first for me, could be dangerous, but I think it looks really well, everything will be working very good. Um, the other thing is the, the trapping door, beautiful design. As you can see it slides from the top, so once they enter in, it's got quite a strong magnet on top. There is a strong magnet that keeps it up. We will probably be about two to three hundred meters away probably on on that side of of the dam and um, yeah we'll be we'll be watching them uh, once they enter we'll be pressing the button releasing the the magnet mechanism the gate drops and then uh, yeah let's see what we can do so Tini if you're watching this beautiful design um, I hope it's going to work. We've also got some nice supports this side. As you can see, we've got some nice reinforcing bar that each one would get. There's another one. So this one would go in there. Like this. And then we'll be hitting that one in as well to give it nice support. So each one gets two. There are some nice cross support beams on each side the the frame has been built with really strong metal we put some conveyor belt on so uh, yeah what a beautiful design so now it's a waiting game this video will probably be within the next two to three weeks project to you know get them calm get them inside put out the feed and um, hopefully we'll be able to catch them we've got too many of the hippos we have to relocate them to uh, a different reserve so uh, yeah let's see what we can do I hope you guys enjoy the rest of the video it's gonna be fun We also have some stepping plates, which is here, that we will get on and view from the top. Once we, we have them, so yeah, let's see how it goes.
Right guys, so tonight is the night. Um, yeah, to show you guys how to catch a hippo. We hope everything goes um, according to plan. This is the first time for a lot of us doing this. So um, it's gonna be trial and error. Unfortunately, we only have one chance to do this, so we'll have to do it right. I do have the 416 with me as well things have to go wrong so let's hope not to get um, in use of the big ball um, yeah unfortunately the hippos don't come in during the day so yeah it's gonna be a night catch the video works not gonna be that great but let's see what we can get on camera and um, yeah I hope I can get you guys some good footage so stick around this is gonna get interesting dig a bit down so the truck can move its way down to open up the space for the hippos to fit so uh, yeah stick around they are in the boma at the moment everything planned out quite well so far let's see how the rest goes Okay. 
Right guys, so I'm not trying to put too much light on them, um, as they are nocturnal, they don't like to see too much light, so as soon as we put off the torch, then they move into the darker areas, which helps us to separate them before they do any damage to each other. You will see every now and then I just put off the light for a couple of seconds and then they move through. Right, so as you can see, yeah, um, this one does have some scratch marks on him. Luckily, we were in time to move them before they do any great damage. So that was a plus point. He has the truck on its way. What a successful, what a successful, beautiful night we've had. Everything just worked out perfectly. So thank you for everyone that was there helping us. This is a female that um, we just offloaded. She was one of the ones that we decided to keep. So she's moving on her way back to the dam. Right guys, well there you have it. What an exciting evening. I'm sure um, the hippos will be, you know, really happy at their new destination. They are on the trucks on the road, on the way, going to a new home. So yeah, luckily everything went very well. Um, I hope you guys really enjoyed this video. This was really fun, really exciting for us to move these fat guys all the way from the Boma. This has been an experiment probably for about four weeks now. So Dini, your Boma worked, well done. Um, guys, I'll leave a description down below for Tini if someone ever wants to move any animals around or interested in buying or selling something. I'll leave a link down below. You can get a hold of Tini, give him a call. My name is Evan Smith and you're watching Bose Guns, Rods and Reels. Shoot straight, fish hard.